Yeah, no introduction. No big long thing. I don't know. The last couple, I um, I don't know. I, I just didn't feel like <laughs> didn't feel like writing it up. Uh, the backstory for this, my latest cat ogre lady, um, is that she was a witch elf who uh, spent too much time with the cats. She was usually late for battle, and uh, right as she was about to be sacrificed and poured into the cauldron of blood, Lord Purgle saved her. Um, I'm naming her Raven R apostrophe V E N because I figure like witch elves uh, just like apostrophes in their names. Um, basically, I took an ogre body, I cut off the legs, cut off the arm stumps. The only thing that you can still see from the ogre body is that little back ridge there. Everything else has been covered in green stuff. Then obviously, I took an ogre face, and um, I did take the ogre hands. Uh, took this sword pretty much as is. This one, the sword is new. I basically just took a piece of plastic sheeting. And a couple of little plastic rods there to make that. Uh, I like the back paint job way more than the front. The back, I think I nailed it. The front looks a little too dirty. I think I used too much of the shade, and it's um, then it, it just it just became a lot. So um, I don't think it's terrible, but it's a little dirty, a little muddy. The paint job's a little muddy, so I could have done better. But there she is. Um, yeah, I also like gave her a pose where she's still stepping, so she's only on one foot, which um I don't know if you can see that or not. You can probably see that. You can kind of tell, maybe a little bit. Um uh, I, I don't know why I wanted to do that. I think I just wanted a little more movement in it, I guess. So uh she's a little taller than the other two. Um but, but here's so but I figured she's an elf. So, you know, elves are a little taller, aren't they? So I made her a bit, bit, bit taller for sure. Um, not terribly taller, but you know, a little bit. There are the three of them. Um, let me move down a little bit, actually. So you can... there, there are the three of them, in all their glory. Also, what else? And yes, that's where there's candies in a jar and some potpourri. Uh, don't judge. Um. This is the other project, Purgle. I'm definitely not spending as much time as, uh, I feel like I'm only spending maybe an hour a day or something like that. Except that paint job for the, when I started painting to her, it was pretty much knocked me out in a couple days. Um, I'm a little worried that the green, liquid green stuff that I'm using as, like, to sort of thicken it might, um, I don't know. I don't want it to flake off or anything like that. I did add a couple knuckles here, so it looks more like, more anatomical. But for the most part, I think it's it's pretty much ready to to paint. I just want to fix a little of these things here, and then maybe a little bit more green liquid green stuff to just sort of like give the illusion that it's under a layer of skin. Um, but pretty much ready to go. Uh, yeah, and I've been saying that for a while, but I think I think it's here. I think I need regular green stuff to put some mane, some hair there from the from the mane. Um, and then, uh, there too. Not a lot, just like a couple little things. Like, I already started it there. Um, just so it looks like, you know, yeah, you know, I don't know, whatever. What, what am I trying to say? No idea. No idea. So there it is. Uh, and I will keep you posted as always, but, uh, things are looking pretty good for the old, <laughs> the old Purgle army. And here they are, just... Saying, we're here to serve. He's like, Mar, cat toy. Mar. Uh, that's it. I'll talk to you guys soon. And uh, yeah, bye. Hope everything's going well.